It's a big day in Canadian politics today. The outlook for next year's federal election is potentially very different than it was yesterday. Maxime Bernier has finally officially gone rogue and announced he's leaving the Conservatives to start his own party. Although the ramifications are potentially huge, the move doesn't exactly come as a big shock. Andrew Scheer. Last May, it all began when Andrew Scheer narrowly eked out a victory in the Conservative Party leadership contest, ultimately beating Quebec MP Maxime Bernier 51 to 49 percent. At first, they smiled for the cameras, linked arms raised in the air, but the smiles faded and the claws came out earlier this year when it was revealed Bernier was writing a book with a chapter about Scheer. In it, Bernier claimed fake Conservatives handed his rival the win. That was back in April, and Bernier eventually backed down, deciding to hold off on publishing the book. Fast forward to the summer, though, and Mad Max, as he's known, was back with a vengeance, tweeting up a storm on immigration, lamenting what he calls the Prime Minister's policy of extreme multiculturalism, then even going so far as to call out Scheer's leadership itself. Today, Bernier slammed the Conservatives and Andrew Scheer as he quit the party, pledging to start one of his own. Our Catherine Cullen is in Halifax, where about 3,000 Conservatives are expected to gather for their policy convention. And she joins me now. Hey, Catherine, thanks for being with us. So what is Mr. Bernier saying about why he did this? Well, Vashi, we heard about his strong personal intellectual convictions, his frustration, and frankly, what sounded like some flat out dislike today when he gave us the reasons for walking away from the Conservative Party and starting his own. Let's start with that conviction. Certainly, that's what Maxim Bernier wanted to put in the window, talking about his views on supply management, immigration, trade in general, you name it, where he says the Conservative Party has let him down, that he has come to the re realization over the past uh, several months, over the past year or so, that the party doesn't stand for what he once thought that it did. But it is clear that this is about more than that. He mentioned a unpleasant phone call that he had with Andrew Scheer about uh, about nine days ago when Maxim Bernier started tweeting about identity politics. And he certainly had some harsh things to say about the party uh, today, mentioning or saying rather that he thought the party was both intellectually and morally corrupt. Yes, some strong words for the party, but definitely some strong words for his former leadership rival, Andrew Scheer. Have a listen. Instead of leading as a principal conservative and defending the interests of Canada and Canadians, Andrew Scheer is following the Trudeau Liberals. What we will get if Andrew Scheer becomes a prime minister is just a more moderate version of the disastrous Trudeau government. Andrew Scheer keeps talking about his positive conservative vision, but Nobody knows what that vision is. The Conservative Party has abandoned Conservative. It does not represent them anymore. And who will represent them now? Why? Maxim Bernier says it will be him. He is starting this new party. He doesn't have a name for it yet. He's still doing all the groundwork for that. But he does say that he hopes to run a full slate of candidates in the next election. And he was talking today when asked Vashi about winning the next election. Uh, that, I think you and I can both agree, would be a pretty remarkable outcome to start a new party like that uh, with, you know, just over a year before the federal election and to win basically all the votes from conservative supporters and beyond uh, really would be something to see, so we'll have to watch. So how are Conservatives where you are reacting, especially uh, Andrew Scheer? Yes, well, that, I think, was definitely the most remarkable part of the day. While well, Andrew Scheer tried to maintain a pretty calm demeanor in response to what Maxim Bernier had to say, um, he essentially painted him as something of a traitor, somebody who was walking away from his teammates. Uh, he and the rest of the Conservatives are really trying to essentially minimize Maxim Bernier right now because he has gone from being a teammate, if one that they've had a bit of a difficult time with, to somebody who is their direct competitor, it seems. So listen to what Andrew Scheer had to say about Maxim Bernier today. Uh, it's becoming more and more clear as he, uh, as he, uh, uh, you know, c c communicated and 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 uh, you know put statements out that he was doing so on his own and not part of a team that had offered him every opportunity to help implement uh, the very ideas that he claimed uh, to uh, to care about. Uh, so uh, you know, it's it's obvious that this has been uh, uh, coming for a long time. And in retrospect, he probably made this choice to help Justin Trudeau a long time ago. 
So there you go. Maxim Bernier doesn't uh, really care about the conservative cause. If you ask Andrew Scheer, if you ask, ask Maxim Bernier, he is essentially the one true conservative left. The real question in all of this is how much heft Maxim Bernier is going to have, how much clout he has, how many conservative supporters can he bring with him. That is something that is certainly being hotly debated. But I can tell you, Vashi, when you put microphones in front of conservative MPs and ask them about it, uh, everybody is very quick to minimize his abilities, despite the fact that he almost won the leadership just about 15 months ago. Everyone insists that he will not be able to take very many people with him. But of course, that is going to be uh, a, a big issue, a, a potentially massive issue, not just for the Conservative Party, but for the Canadian for Canadian politics as a whole moving forward. All right. Thank you so much, Catherine. Catherine Cullen in Halifax. So how does the party plan to handle Bernier's departure? Are MPs worried his move will split the Conservative vote in next year's election? Joining me now from the Conservative Convention in Halifax is that party's chief whip, Mark Strahl. Hi, Mr. Strahl. Thanks so much for being with us. I want to start off by asking, were you surprised by Mr. Bernier's decision today? Uh, no, I think I was disappointed, but not surprised. It became fairly clear over the last few days that, uh, that he was uh, going in a different direction, that he was making the choice to uh, separate himself from the Conservative Party of Canada, and today he made that official. Uh, so I, I'm disappointed that he's uh, chosen that route, but it certainly didn't come as a shock. How sure are you that nobody else in caucus walks with him? Uh, we just had a caucus meeting. I've never seen the caucus more united. They are focused entirely on our goal, which is to defeat Justin Trudeau in 2019 and make Andrew Scheer the next Prime Minister of Canada. We're uh, focused on the work that we have to do here this week in Halifax. And, you know, uh, Mr. Bernier's made his choice to, uh, to go it alone. Uh, he clearly never accepted the result of the leadership race and he certainly doesn't put his trust in the members of our party. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think our caucus is 100% uh, united behind Andrew Scheer and we certainly saw that today in our caucus meeting that just wrapped up. We've just received word, Mr. Straw, that all but one member of uh, Mr. Bernier's local Conservative Association has resigned. The President, Charles Laflamme, says that we've, quote, always been there more for Maxime than for the party. Does that worry you? No, I don't think so. I think Max has uh, clearly surrounded himself uh, with people that say the things that he wants to hear. Uh, there's lots of people uh, across the country who uh, supported Max in the, in the leadership race, but they accepted the, uh, the result because they accept the wisdom of our members. And many of them, we've heard from uh, hundreds of them already today, who are saying that while they may have supported Max in the leadership race, they support a united Conservative Party that is focused on getting rid of this tired uh, Justin Trudeau government and that they believe that Maxime should have been focused on that. Now that he's left the Conservative Party, they're still with us because they believe in the same things that we do. Smaller government, uh, more affordability for Canadians, lower taxes, all those things that Conservatives work so hard to promote and have been winning uh, the debates on in Ottawa. Those are the things that our members are still united behind. So, yes, uh, there'll be uh, there'll be some that uh, that uh, go with Maxime Bernier, uh, but he's made the choice to leave this party, and uh, we think that uh, certainly caucus and the majority of our party uh, are going to unite in our common goal to defeat Justin Trudeau. Your leader Andrew Scheer today said that Maxime Bernier's decision to leave the party was a decision to help Justin Trudeau. Is that an admission that your party is in real trouble in the election? No, I think that we all have a choice to make. What are we going to put our efforts towards? And uh, the Conservative Party of Canada is the only party in Canada that has uh, a chance to defeat Justin Trudeau and make him a one-term prime minister. And there are 96 members of caucus that are working towards that goal. And if you're not working towards that goal, the only other uh, possible scenario is a Justin Trudeau government. So if you're not working for us, you're working against us. And, and so uh, the fact that Maxime has chosen to work against the only political uh, vehicle in Canada that can replace Justin Trudeau with uh, a, a principled conservative government, you know, he's made that choice. And when you're not working, rowing in the same direction as us to make Andrew Scheer the next prime minister, that to me says that you are working to maintain the status quo. But does that mean that 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 scenario, the status quo scenario, Justin Trudeau staying in power, is more likely because of the decision Maxime Bernier made today? I, I, I don't think so. We have seen time and again our party is strong. We're out, out fundraising the Liberals two to one. We have uh, hundreds of thousands of members who have chosen to be a part of this. We have 3,000 delegates 
here who've flown across the country to Halifax to participate in this policy debate. So while uh, you know Justin Trudeau is also working to stay in power, uh, the fact that uh, that there are people who are not working with us doesn't mean that we are any less likely uh, to uh, to win the next election. We are we are ready and we are working hard with this group that's here, uh, the members that are that have come again who participated in the policy process. And I have to say the the most offensive part of what Maxime said today was that Conservatives don't engage in vigorous debates. We have 3,000 people here that would beg to disagree and 100,000 members at home who have been a part of this policy process who would beg to disagree. He might not like what they have to say. He might think he knows better than those 3,000 people that are here or the 100,000 members uh, who are a part of our movement. But we trust our membership to make the right decisions. They made the right decision in the leadership race. They're going to make the right decisions here week and we put our trust in those grassroots members. Maxime can put his trust in himself uh, but uh, we've always been a grassroots driven party and that's who uh, that's who we're working for. What about the values that he has espoused over not just today but the but the last week and a half and I'm asking specifically about his tweets calling out Justin Trudeau for quote radical multiculturalism and a cult of diversity. Do you think that those terms and the way that he's described them are anti-immigrant? Well I think I think first of all that they are new views to Maxime Bernier. He's, uh, I've served with Max for seven years. I've never once heard him espouse those views in public or in private. I think he's trying to uh, catch on to a lightning rod issue, something that would draw attention to him while he uh, worked on this plan to launch his, his new party. I think we are a party, we are, the Conservative Party is a proud party that has done a number of firsts when it comes to uh, you know, Japanese women in cabinet. We've had, we've had the first uh, Pakistani uh, senators. I understand that, first, Mr. Strong. Uh, and sorry to uh, interrupt. If you go, but you go down the whole list. I, sorry to interrupt, uh, but, but, but I, I'm asking I would, if you th would characterize his, his language as anti-immigrant. I would characterize his language as, first of all, probably not being Maxime's language. And secondly, that, uh, that those tweets are, are not representative of our party. If you want to see what our party believes, you can look at what our shadow minister for immigration has said, that we want to have planned, orderly, lawful immigration. We want people to come to Canada to build a life here. That's been our, that's been our heritage. And when you start talking about things, absolutely, when you start talking about you know, maybe there's too much diversity or, or uh, those sorts of things that Max invented in the last week, uh, that certainly doesn't represent what our party believes in and uh, it certainly uh, I think it's up to Maxime to define what he meant by those terms you know uh, if he thinks that Canada is suddenly too diverse he needs to be the one to to address that that doesn't represent uh, our party's views we're working hard with all Canadians who are focused on the same goals that we are. Before I let you go, let me let me play devil's advocate for a second. Uh, say Mr. Bernier truly does feel like his values don't match the parties anymore. It's definitely not the first time that that's been the case. Uh, of course, many of our viewers will remember your dad, Chuck Straw, was leader of the Democratic Representative Caucus that broke ranks with Stockwell Day's Canadian Alliance Party in 2001. Is Bernier's decision really that crazy? Well, absolutely it is. At that time, there were decisions that were made to try to preserve the party, uh, the, 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 there were there were decisions that were made about uh, uh, about whether the party uh, needed to go in a different direction, whether the uh, the leadership was was taking the party in the right direction. It was a completely opposite situation to what we have now. We have a united party. We have a strong leader. We're out fundraising the Liberals. We're even in the polls. None of those things uh, held true back then. This is a this is an attempt to destroy the Conservative Party of Canada. Back in the day, those were attempts to, uh, to, to bring the parties together to, and, and I think the proof is in the pudding. You know, there were some difficult times there, but it resulted in a united conservative movement, a united conservative party of Canada, and that's what we're fighting to protect here today. I have to leave it there because I'm out of time, but I really thank you for your time, Mr. Strahl. Okay, thank you.